Fourier transform of autocorrelation function. Suppose xt is a real and bounded signal. Then autocorrelation function of xt is given by integration of xt x t minus tau d tau this tau is ta time interval x t is real signal it means complex conjugate of x t is x t So, complex conjugate of x t minus tau is also real, that is x t minus tau. Now, this autocorrelation function sorry, the Fourier transform of x t is x omega. Then the Fourier transform of x t minus tau is e to the power minus j omega tau x omega. We have used the time shifting property of Fourier transform here. So Fourier transform of complex conjugate of x t minus tau is complex conjugate of e to the power minus j omega tau that is e to the power j omega tau into complex conjugate of complex conjugate of x omega now applying the Applying the Parseval's identity for Fourier transform. It says that, that integration of xt and complex conjugate of yt from minus infinity to plus infinity is 1 upon 2 pi integration of x omega which is Fourier transform of x t into complex conjugate of y omega y omega is Fourier transform of y t from minus infinity to plus infinity now substituting x t minus tau in place of y t then the expression is integration of x t in place of y t we are substituting x t minus tau dt see in the expression of autocorrelation function this is integration with respect to t. This should be t. So this will be complex conjugate of x t minus tau and in the right hand side this y omega is replaced by Fourier transform of 
x t minus tau that is e to the power minus g omega tau x omega so 1 upon 2 pi integration of x omega complex conjugate of y omega means complex conjugate of this this will be e to the power j omega tau complex conjugate of x omega d omega now the complex conjugate of x t minus tau because x x t is real signal so complex conjugate of x t minus tau is x t minus tau so we will write x t integration of x t into x t minus tau because x t is real signal and the right hand side is 1 upon 2 pi x omega into complex conjugate of x omega is mod of square of x omega e to the power j omega tau this left hand side of equation is autocorrelation function and in the right hand side mod of square of x omega is energy spectral density of xt and this right hand side of equation is inverse Fourier transform of energy spectral density so inverse Fourier transform of energy spectral density is autocorrelation function or we can write this like Fourier transform of autocorrelation function is energy spectral density where r x x tau is the autocorrelation function of x t which is real and bounded signal so that's how we find the Fourier transform of autocorrelation function